The first one is highly intriguing. To explain this to you, consider the standard rightward opening parabola having its vertex at origin. All right. Then you know x axis is its axis of symmetry. Also, you know that the axis passes through the vertex and the focus and is also perpendicular to the directrix of the parabola. Right. Now, at the vertex, if I draw a tangent to the parabola, then obviously this is going to be parallel to the directrix and hence it's going to be perpendicular to the axis. Where am I going? Can you see? This line L is a tangent to the parabola at the vertex which is perpendicular to the axis. This means axis of the parabola is actually normal to the parabola at the vertex. The speciality of this particular normal is that it passes through the focus of the parabola. Yes, the speciality of this normal is that it passes through the focus of the parabola. Whereas, apart from the vertex, you take any other point on the parabola and you draw the normal. It will never ever pass through the focus. That's the first property. Normal other than the axis of the parabola never passes through the focus. In order to convince you more on this, let's quickly prove it. Suppose P I take to be some point on the parabola other than the vertex and I'm assuming that the normal at this point P, let's call it N, passes through the focus of this parabola which is A comma 0. That's my assumption. I have to contradict this assumption if I want to prove the property. So, Let's assume that the slope of this normal is m. Then in the slope form, the equation of my normal will be given by y equals mx minus 2am minus am cube. Because this normal is passing through the focus, the coordinates of focus will satisfy its equation. And what will you get as a result? You will get 0 equals am minus 2am minus am cube. I just plugged in y as 0 and x as a, nothing else. So from here you get 0 equals minus am minus am cube or simply am cube plus am is 0. So from here you can see m cube plus m is 0. That is m into m square plus 1 is 0. Now m certainly is not 0. That means m square plus 1 has to be 0. But m square plus 1 is 0 for which value of m? m is real, so its square is always non-negative. Non-negative plus 1 is always positive. Non-negative plus 1 is always positive. It's never 0. That means there is absolutely no real value of m for which m square plus 1 is 0, which means there is absolutely no real value of m which represents the slope of that normal which passes through the focus. Do you understand in this scenario? Okay, so hence proved, we have contradicted our assumption the point P, which is not the vertex, at that point when you draw the normal, it will never pass through the focus. So please keep in mind, normal other than the axis of the parabola never passes through the focus of the parabola. Cool? The second property says that if you have a point P on the parabola, which has parameter T1, and you draw a normal at this point, then this normal will definitely meet the curve again at, let's say, Q having parameter T2. In this scenario, T1 and T2 are related by this particular relation. What is it saying? T2 is equal to minus T1 minus 2 by T1. Trust me, this particular property is highly applicable in questions. I really can't stress on its importance enough. Right now, I want you to take two seconds and remember this. T2 is equal to minus T1 minus 2 by T1, where T1 is the parameter of that point on the parabola at which you are drawing the normal. And T2 is the parameter of that point at which that normal is again intersecting the curve. Cool. Let's prove this quickly. The proof is very simple. Let's say N is the normal at point P and let's say the slope of this normal is M. Now, because the point of contact, which is P, at which n is the normal, is having parameter T1, I can obviously in here use the relationship between parameter and slope. What is it? M equals minus T1. That's for sure. The parabola we are in concern with is y square equals 4ax. 
cool so this is one thing known to me that m is equal to minus t1 the slope of normal and the parameter of point p are connected by this particular equation but if i'm not wrong on this normal i can right now see two points sitting one is p other is q and i am aware of their parameters that means i am in indirectly i am aware of their parametric coordinates so i can use my two point form to explicitly compute the slope of the normal which i am saying is m okay so let's use the two point form difference in the y coordinates so this will be 282 minus 281 upon difference in the x coordinates that is 82 square minus 81 square so this gives you 2a t2 minus t1 upon a t2 plus t1 into t2 minus t1 so this gets cancelled out a cancels out you're left with 2 upon t1 plus t2 to be coming out to be the slope of this normal but at this point of time i want you to take a pause and please note that 2 upon t1 plus t2 is not just a, the slope of this particular normal no in fact you know what you take any chord of the parabola right such that the parametric coordinates of the end points are known to you then the slope of that chord will always come out to be 2 upon t1 plus t2 the computation is the same isn't it okay so this is something hidden as a note here but i want you to take a note of this in your notebooks that if you have any any chord of the parabola such that you are aware of the parametric coordinates of the end points of that chord then in that case the slope of that chord always comes out to be 2 upon t1 plus t2 but t1 is the parameter of the one end point and t2 is the parameter of the other end point of the chord cool fine now look over here i have slope of the same normal coming out to be minus t1 and also coming out to be 2 upon t1 plus t2 okay so obviously i am going to equate both these quantities right and now solve what do you get this gives you 2 upon or minus 2 upon t1 equals t1 plus t2 or simply t2 is minus t1 minus 2 by t1 this is the relation that i wanted to prove cool so please keep in mind that if p is a point having parameter t1 at which you are drawing the normal that normal will definitely intersect the parabola again at let's say point q having parameter t2 then t1 and t2 will be related by the relation t2 equals minus t1 minus 2 by t1 okay moving on to the third property it says that if p and q are two distinct points on the parabola having parameters t1 and t2 respectively and you draw two normals at these two respective points then both these normals will definitely intersect each other at a point let's call it r and the coordinates of this point of intersection r in terms of t1 and t2 are given by this yes the x coordinate of the point of intersection r is 2a plus a times t1 square plus t1 t2 plus t2 square and the y coordinate of the point of intersection r is given by minus a t1 t2 into t1 plus t2 do you get it okay it's very very simple to prove this property i am leaving it as a self practice for you i'll give you the hint see n1 is the normal at point p which has parameter t1 so you can successfully using t1 write the parametric equation of normal n1 similarly n2 is the normal at point q having parameter t2 so in terms of t2 you can write the equation of the normal n2 using the parametric form the moment you have the parametric equations of both n1 and n2 solve them simultaneously in fact you know what subtract them when you do that you'll get the value of x which will represent the x coordinate of r and when you plug this value of x in any one of those two equations and solve you will get the respective value of y which will represent the y coordinate of r and bingo you will have the result proved okay so i'm leaving the proof of this for you and i'm expecting you to complete it cool moving on to the fourth and very 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 important property it says if the normals to the parabola y square equals 4ax at the points p and q having parameters t1 and t2 intersect again on the parabola at the point r having parameter t3 then 
two relations hold true. First is T1 into T2 comes out to be 2 and T3 is minus of T1 plus T2 which in other words means T1 plus T2 plus T3 is 0. Now the statement of this property is trying to say what? Let me tell you. Consider the parabola y squared equals 4ax and on this parabola whenever you take any two random points, okay, any two distinct points you take P and Q and draw normals at these points. Obviously, those two normals will intersect, but they will not always intersect on the parabola. If you want the two normals to intersect on the parabola, you have to choose P and Q in such a way that the product of their parameters comes out to be 2. Only when P and Q are two distinct points such that the product of the parameters is 2, the normals at these two points will intersect on the parabola. That means their point of intersection, let's call it R, will sit on the parabola. And in this case, in this case, if parameter of R, which is their point of intersection, is T3, then T1, T2 and T3 are connected by the relation T1 plus T2 plus T3 equals 0. Got it? Let's quickly prove this. So first of all, focus on the first normal that is N1, which is being drawn at point P and is again intersecting the parabola at point R. Can you see that? P has parameter T1, R has parameter T3. So using my very first property of normal, I can say T3 is equal to minus T1 minus 2 by T1. Similarly, if you look at the normal N2, it is being drawn at Q and it is again intersecting the curve at R. Q has parameter T2, R has parameter T3. So by using property 1, I can say T3 is minus T2 minus 2 by T2. Right? So T3 is this also, T3 is this also. That means both these quantities I will be equating. Right? So what do I get in the next step? Tell me quickly. It's a basic calculation, nothing major, nothing great. I am going to get T2 minus T1 equals 2 by T1 minus 2 by T2. This gives me two common T2 minus T1 upon T1, T2 and here also I have T2 minus T1. This gets cancelled out and eventually I am left with T1 into T2 equals 2 which is the very first relation I was interested in proving and hence I have proved. Next, I want to prove that T1, T2 and T3 are connected with the relation T1 plus T2 plus T3 equals 0. For that, I want you to recall property 3, which talked about the coordinates of the point of intersection of two normals. So in here, N1 and N2 are my two normals being drawn at P and Q. The parameters of P and Q are known to you. So using T1 and T2, the coordinates of point R will be what? 2A plus A times T1 square plus T1 T2 plus T2 square, comma, minus A T1 T2 into T1 plus T2. Cool. But the question, the statement of the property said T3 is the parameter of R. So, in terms of T3, a R is going to look like a T3 square, 2 a T3. Without a doubt. Yes. So, these are, the para these are the coordinates of point R using property 3. And these are the coordinates of point R using the fact that T3 is its parameter. Obviously, R has these coordinates also, these coordinates also. That means both these are equal. And two ordered pairs are equal only when the first components are same and the second components are same. So in here, if I equate the y coordinates, what do I get? This 2a t3 is equal to minus a t1 t2 into t1 plus t2. Let's quickly resolve this. Well, t1 t2 I know as a matter of fact is equal to 2, right? In this scenario, for this property, t1 into t2 is equal to 2. Yes. So what do you get? 2a t3 is equal to minus 2a into t1 plus t2. Yes, so 2a 2a cancels out. What are you left with? t3 is minus t1 minus t2 or simply t1 plus t2 plus t3 is equal to 0. And hence we've proved both the relations which were expressed in this property.